What is up, everybody? Hope everybody's having a merry festivus so far. Ho, ho, ho. And all that and such. I noticed that everybody is doing their best of 2018. And you know me. I can't just do a video that's just like everybody else's video. I gotta throw some personality in there, man, you know? Do something a little bit different. What I'm gonna do is tell you my top eight favoritest Christmas movies of all times. That's what I'm gonna do. I got the idea from watching Pal702. Shout out to one of my favorite vape reviewers, Pal702. He put a clip of a movie in his best mods of 2018 and I was like wait a minute I need to do something with that I need to do something with that so here we are uh, sprinkled sprinkled in this video I'm going to tell you what my favorite mod of 2018 was that way we can keep it somewhat vape related because Oh my gosh, oh, some people get upset when this vape guy does stuff that's not vape related. Oh dear. Anyways, before we get into it, I want to explain what's going on here. A couple years ago, I made this. Yes, this is a Vape Malone handmade ugly Christmas sweater. Let's check it out. So right here at the top, you can see I got these, uh, yeah, it's like, looks kind of like gold chains, so, huh? and I got these, uh, these, um, big present. And then down here, boom, these were supposed to be nipple rings, uh, just, but I glued them on before, so now it just looks like I have like super droopy nipples, but whatever. This is the star of the show, Mr. T. I pity the fool who doesn't celebrate Christmas. That's right, Mr. T. Thank you. And I feel like a lot of people don't give the T man enough cred. So I decided to do that on an ugly Christmas sweater. Pretty sweet, right? Also, I want to give a shout out to my wife's boss. He came in and asked her, what was this, about a week ago, two weeks ago? Yeah, about two weeks ago. He came in and said, Hey, uh, do you and your husband play hide the pickle? She responded, No. We don't. And then he was like, Oh, you guys should totally play hide the pickle. So he got us a pickle to hide. Didn't know that was a thing. But... Uh, we've downsized in recent months, and so this is our tree now. This is our Christmas tree. And then, see, we got the little pickle right here. Shout out to Greg for this lovely pickle. Thank you, sir. And I also wanted to give a shout out to uh, my friend Laura, Oler, and Adam. They came by the other day and dropped off some very nice gifts. For the fur babies, I almost ate these one things because I thought they were human treats and they totally weren't. They look like little puff balls and duh, yeah, but they smelled good. Probably should have just ate one, but whatever. I didn't eat them. And the other gift that they got us was this thing right here. This is the Tricera Taco holder. He holds two tacos. And it's pretty much the dopest gift that I've ever gotten for Christmas. I, it's just, look at it. Now, now when we make tacos, they don't have to like just lay over like limp noodle on the, you know, cause you know, when you're packing the stuff in there, right? And then you lay it over and then all the, the good stuff falls out of the top of it. It's horrible. Now we don't have to worry about that anymore with the Tricera taco holder. Is it a plug? I don't know. You tell me. Is it dope? Yes, indeed, it is. Tricera taco holder. So, I guess that's enough intro. 
Let's get into it. Starting off with number eight, A Christmas Story. Yeah, yeah. This one's just, just tradition, right? Like, it's on a marathon for the entire Christmas Day, every year. When they stop doing that, it's probably gonna be the zombie apocalypse or something. It's full of pole licking, worrying moms, angry moms, the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Kid, a leg lamp, a BB gun, a freckled faced turd of a bully. It's got it all. Here's my favorite clip. I triple dog dare ya. This is next. Straight ghosted that poor kid. It's a damn shame. All right, coming in at number seven, D. Die Hard. Had to put it in there. It's an action movie and a Christmas movie. That's pretty dope. I think that might have been the first of its kind. Just throwing that out there. If somebody wants to comment and fact check me on that, please do so. And being that it's an action Christmas movie, you know exactly what that means. A non-stop holiday action based thrill ride with tons of plot holes. Namely, uh, this one. <laughs> the foot thing, like, come on, bro. Like, we get it. Okay, the first bad guy you murdered in the neck, okay, he didn't have he didn't have shoes that you could fit. Okay, we get it. There was like a bunch of other bad guys that you could have taken their shoes, man. You could have taken them, but you didn't. You waited until your feet got all bleedy and stuff, you know, when Mr. Gruber was like, uh, hey man, his feet, he's just wearing feet. Let's just shoot the glass. And then they gave him, you know, behind the scenes, gave him rubber feet to wear, which was weird, but, you know, bleedy feet. Like, come on, man. And then, and then, it's not until that point where he has bleedy feet, you know, he's picking up that giant shard of glass out of his foot. You don't want to know. Put me down for 20. Dude's like, oh, well, now I got no choice, man. I'm hobbling. I'm just going to wrap this tank top that I've been wearing this entire time around it, you know. Uh, you, bro, you could have totally wrapped the sweatshirt, ripped that sweatshirt off the broken neck guy, and, I mean, yeah, I guess you couldn't have wrote the words on this shirt and been funny about things and made Hans Gruber mad, but, I mean, you would have had something, right? It's better than nothing. I'm just saying. One of the most memorable parts, and one of my favorite. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Hey, motherfucker. One of my absolute favorite parts is this part. I know what a TV dinner feels like. Yeah, that's what a TV dinner really feels like. And then how about this stinger? I didn't realize they celebrated Christmas in Japan. Hey, we're flexible. Pearl Harbor didn't work out, so we got you with tape decks. And that's pretty much what I got for that one. Rest in peace, Alan Rippin. Severus Snape, respect. Number six, Gremlins, yep. Hey gang, you're rolling with rockin' Ricky Rialto, the voice of Kingston Falls, USA. Fuzzy creatures from a faraway land. Rules that can't be broken. Number one, he hates bright lights, we know that. But you gotta keep him out of the sunlight. Sunlight will kill him. Number two, keep him away from water. Don't give him any water to drink. And whatever you do, don't give him a bath. And probably the most important thing, don't ever feed him after midnight. A man child that lives in his parents' attic that can't follow rules. Here we go. Well, 
and a guy that invents things that don't work. I'm an inventor. I made this, the bathroom buddy. You take your toothbrush out and you push this button. That's no problem. That's absolutely no problem. <laughs> what could go wrong, right? Am I right? But for reals, I hate Mr. Deagle. I'm afraid that neither one of us will be paid for two weeks. Couldn't you get Mr. Corbin to, well, to just give us a little more time? Mrs. Harris, the bank and I have the same purpose in life, to make money, not to support a lot of deadbeats. Mrs. Deagle, it's Christmas! <laughs> well, now you know what to ask Santa for, don't you? Uh, did I mention that I hate Mrs. Deagle? I want your dog. Barney? Give him to me. I'll take him to the kennel. They'll put him to sleep. It'll be quick and painless compared to what I could do to him. <laughs> what you get coming in at number five the nightmare before christmas that's right uh fun fact i don't know if you knew this or not but the nightmare before christmas was actually a touchstone picture before it was a disney picture it's still disney touchstone is just their adult film studio and they released it under that because they thought it would be too dark and too scary for the children I have a special present for you, anyway. There you go, Sonny. Oh. <laughs> and what did Santa bring you, honey? Uh, yeah, it turns out that they were wrong, big time. And now, at the beginning of the movie, you'll see... Disney, oh Disney. It's also why in 2001 they started doing Haunted Mansion Nightmare Before Christmas style. If you haven't been on that ride when it's Nightmare Before Christmas style, you need to do it because it's dope and it's fun and it's awesome and it's got all your favorite characters in it. I really, I grew up, this is, you know, I grew up pretty much on all these movies, but this one for sure I grew up on and I just, I loved it ever since I was a little kid. The thing about it that I love the most is not just the iconic characters, but it's a movie that you can watch on Halloween and Christmas. There's not many of those out there. What well, do they have now? Krampus? Um, you know, if you could think of some others, throw them down in the comments. But, I mean, before that, I think that was really the movie that you could watch for both. Plus, it's one of the few musicals that I actually like. What's this? What's this? In here, they've got a little tree. How queer! This is one of my favorite parts. <laughs> now look what you've done! My world! My world! My world! My world! It's just so weird. I love it. Coming in at number four, See that thing back there? That's a present. Actually, it's not a present. It's just a fake decoration that I made like two minutes before I filmed this. But it's Elf. Number four is Elf. Okay, so just so you know, so we're aware here, one through four is like, it was so hard to put a number two, okay? But number four is Elf. This movie, Elf is just 100% movie gold. Plain and simple. Will Ferrell, I mean, come on, the Dude, dude's a genius. He's so hilarious. And there's so many other good characters in it. Leon the Snowman. Hi, Leon. Why the long face, partner? Mr. Norwal. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Thanks, Mr. Norwal. Jovi. I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. Hubba hubba. 
random drinking buddy guy friend? Go with the flow. No, I gotta get out of the flow. Well, then get out. I'm in the flow. That's what got me here. Oh. I got. I'm 26 years old. I got nothing to show. For. You're young. You're so young. Papa Elf. Uh, there are only three jobs available to an elf. The first is making shoes at night while you know while the old the old cobbler sleeps. Lazy bum. Couldn't even make a clock. You can bake cookies in a tree. As you can imagine, it's uh, dangerous having an oven in an oak tree during the dry season. I want to make shoes! Tyrion Lannister? He's an angry elf. Look at you! KG? Got like 45 minutes. Well, come on, let's uh, try to get a storyboard or something ready. Come on, let's do it. Let's try. No, you can't sit down and get a storyboard ready. Go. And the list goes pretty much there. That's the end of the list. Here's a few of my favorite parts. Roll them. You did it! Congratulations! World's best cup of coffee. Great job, everybody. It's great to meet you. Hi. You disgust me. How can you live with yourself? Just cool it, Zippy. You sit on a throne of lies. Look, I'm not kidding. You're a fake. I'm a fake? Yes. How'd you like to be dead? Huh? No, he's kidding. You stink. I think you're gonna have a good Christmas, all right? You smell like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa. Okay. <gasps> <gasps> Number three. Bad Santa. Come on. You all know it's in your top five. Let's just be honest with each other. What is it with you anyway? Somebody drop you on your fucking head? On my head? Well, yeah, what are they gonna drop you on somebody else's head? How can they drop me onto my own head? No, not onto your own. Uh, what? God damn it, are you fucking with me? There's only one Christmas movie that makes me laugh harder than this, and it's in the number one spot. What do you want? <laughs> what are you doing? God damn it. Nintendo Deer Hunter 3. Give a shit what you want? Blowing snot all over everybody and fucking whatever next. Come on. This movie is full of hilarious quotable moments, though. Is Granny Spry? Let me fix you some sandwiches. Fuck, kid, I just call him, you know, Bub. You know, I call him, I say, hey, Bub or Chief or whatever the fuck, you know, I tell him to make the goddamn toy. Go is wrong with you and i think this is probably the best movie billy bob has ever been in since oh i like taters and stuff and oh uh, sling blade you know and going to bottom of the lawnmower and stuff yeah since that i'm on my fucking lunch break okay that's how i feel at work sometimes and i'm not even a eating drinking shitting fucking setting uh, fun fact, uh, Tony Cox and Bernie Mac. 48? Oh. We're also in another movie together. Can you guess what it is? Do, 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 do. Boop. It was Friday. Go watch it. I'm pretty sure it's on Netflix right now. Go watch it. But anyways, rest in peace, Bernie Mac. Number two, Home Alone. His name's Kevin, my name's Kevin, and despite all the glaring plot holes in this movie, I've loved it ever since I was a kid. I loved it so much that I would reenact it in my own house by setting up booby traps all around it. I always got this response when my family set one off. Kevin! Look Are what you, you did, you little jerk! Pepsi sucks, by the way. Fuller, go easy on the Pepsi. God. Fun fact here. Buzz your girlfriend. Woof. They actually dressed up a little boy in a girl's outfit for that picture. So they didn't ruin a little girl's life. But they dressed up a little boy as a girl. So here's some of my favorite traps. Got some nice presents for you. Be a good little fella now and open the door. 
He totally looked down and didn't even see those. Excuse me, where's the lobby? Down the hall and grab him by the pussy. Thanks. I know, I know, the last one was from Home Alone 2, but this is technically for both of those movies, because you can't have one without the other. We're the wet bandits. You're sick, you know that? So before we get into the number one movie, my favorite mod of 2018, the Rage mod. Yes, the one by Homeboy OC, and Desire Design. This one right here that I've been vaping on while making this video. Boom. Shaka laka. Why is it not focusing? It's not focusing. It's focusing on Steve Buscemi. It's focusing on Steve Buscemi. Anyways, yeah, this thing. This giant hunk of alloy. Yep, that's my favorite. It's the one I use the most through 2018. I just love it. It's the best dual battery squonker that I've had. So, fight me. Just saying. Um, I know that if you do plan on fighting me now, my arms are, they're friggin' massive from holding this thing all the time. I mean, just look at Homeboy. Number one, we're finally here. We're finally here. We made it. We made it. We made it. We made it to my number one Christmas movie of all times. Hey kids, look a deer. Christmas Vacation. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Not just any Christmas Vacation. National Lampoon's. Amen. <laughs> Is it weird that my number one and number two were both written by John Hughes? Rest in peace. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Kiss my ass. Kiss his ass. Kiss your ass. Happy Hanukkah. To be honest, I don't really know if I need to explain this one. I mean, it pretty much speaks for itself. Hey Griswold, where do you think you're going to put a tree that big? Bend over and I'll show you. You've got a lot of nerve talking to me like that, Griswold. I wasn't talking to you. If Clark W. Griswold wasn't enough to tickle you right in the funny bone, then what about Cousin Eddie? Merry Christmas! Dinner was full! If only I had back the money that me and Catherine sent that TV preacher that was screwing the hockey players. About the kids. It's a one year membership in the Jelly of the Month Club. Oh, God. Clark, that's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. <laughs> one of my favorite lines. This is like one of my favorite lines from the movie. Oh, the Crunch Enhancer? Yeah, it's a non nutritive cereal varnish. It's semi permeable. It's not osmotic. What it does is it coats and seals the flake, prevents the milk from penetrating it. Like, we eat that shit. And he explained it perfectly for what it is. Any 
of you are looking for any last minute gift ideas for me, I have one. I like Frank Shirley, my boss, right here tonight. I want him brought from his happy holiday slumber over there in Melody Lane with all the other rich people. And I want him brought right here with a big ribbon on his head. And I want to look him straight in the eye and I want to tell him what a cheap, lying, no good, rotten, four flushing, low life, snake licking, dirt eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood sucking, dog kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, fat ass, bug eyed, stiff legged, spotty lipped, worm headed sack of monkey shit he is. Hallelujah! Holy shit! Where's the Tylenol? So that's it. Where do you think you're going? Nobody's leaving. Nobody's walking out on this fun old-fashioned family Christmas. No, no, we're all in this together. This is a full-blown four-alarm holiday emergency here. We're gonna press on, and we're gonna have the hap, hap, happiest Christmas since Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny fucking K. And when Santa squeezes his fat white ass down that chimney tonight, He's going to find the jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nut house. I hope all of you have the best holiday. And if you're feeling a little bit blue around the holidays, I hope this video cheered you up a little bit. And it was really hard to pick just eight movies. I mean, there's so many good ones out there. Put your favorite movies down in the comments. Vape Malone. My wife said if I got her another stupid Christmas present, she would burn it. I got her a Bath and Body Works candle.